OK, so we now need a dry run for the murder itself, just to make sure that everything's working. So down the house, manager's going to come in and say that the Duchess's priceless pearl necklace has been stolen. And uh, Jack's going to say that he saw Jodie with it earlier on, uh, which, of course, isn't true. And um, it's to see now whether a combination of Jodie doubting his own memory, to the extent that he might question whether or not he could have had it, and the guilt that I'm going to trigger by setting off the bell sound will be enough to make Jodie believe that he could have actually stolen it and then go and confess to it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Uh, sorry. Uh, an item of jewellery has gone missing. It's a pearl necklace. Normally, it's kept in a, in a display cabinet behind uh, locked doors, but for some reason, that particular cabinet has been unlocked for the last few days. Um, so, if anybody has found anything... Jenny, was that the one um, you had last night? In the class? You were just holding it by the, by the window in the drawing room. You were definitely, definitely holding it. I'm not saying you should it, but you were holding it last night. You know, three, three sets of pearls and, and it had a, kind of, had a kind of clasp on it. If you do see it, then please come and find me. I'll probably be around the desk. John to send Jodie up to this room to get the shirt. I'll grab my shirt. Oh. I'm gonna go, yeah, that's right, mate. Right. Look, he's hidden it. Oh, we know he's feeling guilty. He's hidden it. He's given the shirt to John. That's who he was getting it from. You were okay, aren't you? All right, yeah. I don't know. You don't look okay. <laughs> funny. Do you? Yeah. Why is that? Let's get a tight two shot on camera six. Yeah. Oh, Jack said that he's only with them. Right. Last night. Okay. Oh, I don't remember having them. Right. I'm sure I've never seen him in my life. You have them in your room. Oh, I don't know how they got there. Oh, that's okay. No, that's all right. Just go and get them and say who you found them. Who do I give them to? Give them to, um, to the Dad. Manager. Give them to me if you like. I'll say I found them. No, no, I should do it myself. Are you sure? What well, if it was me that took them? Then. I don't it was, like it was me that took them. Yeah, I should really. He's questioning it, isn't he? He's going upstairs, doubting his own memory. It looks like the dry run to get Jodie to confess to something he hasn't done is working. He's responded well to the guilt trigger. We've managed to make him doubt his own memory. And he's starting to believe he took the pearls, which we know he didn't do. What if it was me that took them? Because he's confused by events, young, compliant and exposed to fake information, he fits exactly the profile of the thousands of people who make false confessions to the police every year. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, no, don't worry. It's absolutely terrible. All oh, right, that's absolutely fine. We'll just say that we've, we've, we've found them. Don't worry. Thank you so much. And walk out and thank stay you. on camera one thank and two. That's great. I'm, I'm, I am going to go through oh. and, and see them. While Jody's giving his talk, I'm going to sneak into the house and mess around with one of the rooms he's become most familiar with. His face changed a bit. It's like, it's, yeah. It, it sounded very much like you said, don't be a.